I love your dress. It's so great. And your shoes. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. And your jewels. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, who's your Who's your dress by? Carolina Herrera. Gorgeous. Oh my God. It's like, <laughs> okay. I mean, it's, you, you're so famous. Carolina Herrera lends you the clothes. Oh my God. <laughs> that is so so great. Okay, but now I heard at one time that you were homeless. Mm -hmm. Okay, but now you're this big, huge star. Do you, Do you have like any inspiring words for anyone who's basically poor? you know, trying to make it in their career? The thing that kept me going was um, believing that my life was in my destiny no matter what. I was never a victim. That if I wanted my life to change, that I was capable of changing it. As long as I kept looking for opportunities. Um, if I could control my fear and, and try and find hope and find solutions, I was able to make a positive impact on my life. And that's what really helped to turn around. You know, okay, now you're a four-time Grammy nominee and a, and a singer and a great singer and now into acting. Okay, it's like, is there a difference for you between the singing and the acting? Singing and acting are quite different. Um, I enjoy acting because I've always had a writer's heart. I enjoy watching people and studying people since I was quite young. Um, I grew up bar singing, and so there was a lot of interesting characters to watch. And uh, I've always was very interested in what s motivates people, what what makes them be them. You know, often what we're saying isn't anything to do with what we're feeling. So when I write songs, I'm able to get to some of that deeper levels, but not very much. Um, and acting really does allow you to get more into that subconscious of what's motivating somebody on a deeper level, what's what's true for them behind the lies of often what they're saying. Um, so acting's very different that way. It lets you go into a deeper level of, of human behavior that singing's just too short of a medium for. Okay, now, Ring of Fire, you play June Carter Cash. What was it like just just playing her? Playing Jane was a real honor. I grew up listening to her. Um, I grew up somewhat similar to her. I had an outhouse, and she had an outhouse growing up, and I sort of had a, my, a musical family that I toured and sang with. We made our living that way, and so did she. Um, I actually got to open for her and Johnny back in 99, I think, in England. I never thought I'd get to play her in a movie about her life, and I was honored to because often she's just known as the woman behind the man, and she was a comedian and a songwriter in her own right, and it was nice to be able to highlight her story. Okay, now, okay, now, being a brunette and being a blonde, do you have a preference? <laughs> I was surprised how much I liked being a brunette. Um, I didn't think I'd look good as a brunette, but I actually really enjoyed it. Okay, you look great both ways. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, well, thank you, Jewel. Thank, thank you. you.